March 23rd marks the official beginning of a new era for China and Italy. Italy has joined China's global Belt and Road Initiative, becoming the first G7 country to do so. The Memorandum of Understanding between the two countries was signed in Rome during Chinese President Xi Jinping's now historic state visit. The two countries hope to increase cooperation across many industries, including infrastructure, medicine and aviation, and have already signed agreements in the fields of energy, steel and gas pipeline. Italy's deputy prime minister emphasized the value of the deals for his country up to $22.5 billion. Today is the day when Made in Italy wins, Italy wins, and Italian companies win. The signing of the Memorandum of Understanding for the Belt and Road Initiative is worth as much as 20 billion euros. The private agreements alone, only the agreements that were signed here today, are worth 2.5 billion euros, with a potential of 20 billion, and then there are all the institutional agreements. The Italian Industrial Association, Confindustria, has been working behind the scenes to prepare Italian companies. A year ago, it established a Belt and Road Initiative group to educate Italian businesses about Chinese market regulations. There are a lot of people that are worried about China because they don't know very well the, 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 the place, you know, they don't know very well the rules. And what we hope being in Europe is to establish among Europe with China a more open and transparent uh, economic uh, uh, field. It will be very important for our company and we will explain to our company associated that they can do more with our help. Many Italian business leaders believe when it comes to globalization, China is the future. 30 years from now, 30 years from now, not one century from now, China will be the largest economy in the world. And that's what it is. And it is inevitable that the flow of goods and services and finance and cultural exchanges will increase dramatically. On Saturday, Chinese President Xi traveled here to Sicily's capital city, Palermo. The city's port behind me handles cargo and cruise ships. However, city officials hope to attract investment to build a new port with a much larger capacity to transform it into a Mediterranean hub. Italian ports are expected to be an important part of Chinese-Italian agreements, with ports in Italy offering new gateways to the European market for China. Officials from both countries have also vowed to promote multilateralism and safeguard an inclusive world economy. Michal Bardavid, CGTN, Palermo.